Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are eating some Chipotle. I'm so excited. I have a really, really bad Chipotle obsession at the moment. And you guys know I love hothead burritos and like I I always would say I don't really like Chipotle. Well now I am obsessed with it. So <laughs> It's so good. I DoorDash it and I come pick it up through this drive through like I'm not even kidding like three times a week I want it every day though, but I like can't I like cannot do that but I can't wait Hi Steph Thank you yep. Also Ignore if you think my voice sounds a little bit different. I feel like it's like deeper. I don't know. I think it's allergies. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been screaming or anything, so I really don't know. But I really haven't been feeling the best. And uh, I think it's because I have well water now at my new place. And I've been drinking it. I've just had like a stomach ache and like kind of nauseous and like not really that hungry and I think it's from the well water. So I'm gonna have someone, they weren't working today, but I'm gonna have someone come out and like soften the water and everything like that because I think maybe it just needs more salt. So I don't know, but I was in the mood for Chipotle today and you guys, I got some meat in my bowl this time. I usually don't like meat in my bowl, I've said this. And got made fun of hard for it on TikTok. <laughs> no, not really. The guy is like a social media friend. And he was just being funny. If you guys maybe saw it. So I said like. Well, my friend Sloth Girl, Gabby. She was like saying that I said it. And basically. I don't really like getting meat in it. Because it makes the whole bowl taste like meat. And then she was like saying that she tried to get her bowl with no meat and she likes it better. And he was like doing a duet and she was saying, oh, Steph Pappas told me to try this. And <laughs> because when you get it with meat, it just makes it all taste like meat. And he's like, well, isn't that the point? <laughs> like, isn't that the point? But no, the meat juices just kind of like overpower the bowl. Decided to not get meat in it this time. No meat? You always get meat in your burritos. Are you happy with the decision at least? And I like that I didn't. Good. Normally I do. I know. <laughs> but I was watching Steph Papa's YouTube video eating her burrito and she said that she thinks it tastes, the whole burrito tastes like meat when you put it in. And I'm like that's kind of accurate. Like <laughs> Steph Papa's said that the burrito tastes like the meat that you put inside of it? It always does taste like the meat when you put it in a burrito. I know, that's kind of the point. <laughs> when did you realize this? And I didn't realize it until I heard her say it. <laughs> uh, okay, got it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, that's okay. But this time I did get meat. I do like their new one. I got it the last time and I thought it was delicious. So it is the chicken al pastor and I get extra white rice no beans cheese tomatoes corn salsa lettuce sour cream extra sour cream and the tomato red chili salsa light of it though because it's sometimes really really spicy but you can't do the dragon sauce through like the app or like DoorDash or any of that which the dragon sauce is like my favorite so I've just been getting like light of it inside of my bowl because I don't like going in I really don't <laughs> like going inside of Chipotle is just like I don't know it's kind of overwhelming so I just got this and some chips mm -hmm. and when I eat Chipotle I don't know I just it, it fills me up and it's kind of healthy I, I consider it healthy this is a salad mmm a pocket of sour cream right there. Look at all that. And they have the best sour cream on the planet. Mm. So yeah, I got well water. So 
it's like a little bit different and I'm still getting used to it. There is a reverse susmosis system. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm still getting the hang of all of it. So like there's a spout by the sink that is purified water. So you can drink that, which is super nice. And I have been drinking that and it's like really hurting my stomach. And I Googled like the symptoms of like getting sick from well water and I have all of them. So I looked at like the salt tank in the basement and it definitely needs more salt. So I think it just needs like cleaned out and like a new filter or something. So I've been drinking water bottles. <laughs> Which I don't like it. Like I want my cup. I love having a cup with some ice in it. I've been going through so many water bottles. I just got a whole pack of like 24 the other day and I'm already almost out. But I did have friends over and stuff too and then like things just go so quickly. Or I might just get one of those like big jugs and have like, like one of those little machines and just get it like refilled because I think that's way cheaper and also it's like not so much water bottles and plastic being thrown out. Let's see how the chips are today. Sometimes they're super salty, sometimes they're chewy. Let's see how it is. Oh, geez, it's breaking very easily. Mm. But yeah, moving has just been a lot. Like I, f I feel very like stressed out, honestly. Especially just with getting everything in order, like and figuring things out. Like it's it's definitely just like a lot. And then also, Father's Day just passed. That was not fun. Um, me and my mom ended up hanging out and we made meatball subs together and then my brother made burgers. He lives like a little bit further away so he was at home and he made burgers because it's like my dad's favorite and then also meatballs were my dad's favorite too so we had meatball subs. And just like tried to have a good day. We like cried all morning. And then like the night before I was like out and about with my friends, we were at this like lakeside bar. And then this one guy who didn't really know me, he didn't know me, it was my first time meeting him. And so he didn't know like what happened or anything. He's asking us all like, what are you guys doing for Father's Day? And everyone just kind of got like quiet because like my friends all know and it's just like okay like why are you asking that but like he didn't know and yeah he was just like being friendly and then he like no one answered and then he asked it again and my one friend I started crying like I just started crying immediately and my friend was like like stop like she lost her dad but like I was like it's not your fault I promise it's not your fault like you were just like you know having conversation but definitely these, especially that holiday, but just like holidays, like the first holiday without him, honestly, it'll probably be every holiday, but just like so different. I asked for extra sour cream and like, I feel like there's, it's like spicy. I do love, oh, look at this chunk of white rice, too. They have such good rice. But I went to this crystal shop the other day. I'm, like, really into crystals. I don't, like, charge them and stuff in the dirt. I know some people do that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. 
So on like a full moon, if you put your crystals like in the dirt, it's supposed to like recharge them. Ugh. I've never done that, but I think crystals are so pretty. And I think I have one in my car actually. Oh no, I must've took it out. I do have this little angel though. My center console is super, super small. But I usually have a crystal in here. Unless it's in my little, I don't know. But I got this new bracelet. I love the Dalmatian stone. I think it's so pretty. So this is a Jasper Dalmatian. And if, if you don't live by a crystal shop, um, I recommend Earthbound. They have a lot of cute like crystal stuff and like hippie stuff. But crystals just, they're so pretty and I do love the meanings and even if you like slightly believe it or not, like this one's supposed to bring like positivity and confidence. So I don't know. I like it. Ooh, spicy. This meat though is really good. Cause I got steak like one of the last times and it was so chewy. I think I just got like a bad batch. And then their original chicken, I just think is just eh. But this is so good, it's so tender. It kind of tastes like chicken mixed with steak. I don't know what chicken al pastor exactly is, but that's like what it, I, how I would describe it. So I don't post on TikTok as much anymore. I don't know if you guys have like noticed. But honestly, I, I've been seeing lots of people kind of boycotting TikTok. I love being on it and like watching videos. But I don't know, I just, I love YouTube and like doing videos on my main channel and then also my second channel, like the vlogging and stuff. I don't know, I just like YouTube. I always have. Since I was eight years old, I was posting on here which is crazy. Like literally, I've like never really taken a break. But TikTok, I feel like it's just so hateful. Like it's just the most like negative comment app. And I'm not talking about just me. I like every video that I see and I click on the comments, like the people are just mean. Like I think people forget, well they shouldn't forget, but it's like you're commenting and the person is gonna see the comments. Like they talk about the person like they're not reading the comments or like they're not even like in the room. I don't know, but I'm definitely posting on TikTok less. And this is the first time I've like, I still will, but I'm just not as interested as it on it anymore. You guys are the first to know that. Snapchat, though, I do love. I've always loved posting on Snapchat, like, on my story. Just because I love taking pictures of, like, my food or, like, just what I'm doing. Selfies, my dogs. I just, I have too many pictures on my phone. <laughs> I think I have like 50,000, which is a lot. And like, at that point, I'm not really going back and like looking at all of them. I just have so many screenshots of like recipes and things from like Instagram. Look at all the ducks. Can you guys see them? Let's zoom in. Do you guys see the ducks? <laughs> so cute. Maybe they're finding some leftover chipotle in the grass. 
I've been seeing so many animals lately. Me and my mom saw a gopher when we were on a walk. <laughs> like, what? Like, I feel like there's just been so many animals. One, though, I haven't seen is lightning bugs. Like, where did those go? As a kid, there were so many lightning bugs because I'd catch them and put them in like little cages. And I feel like there really isn't any anymore. I don't know if they come maybe like later on in summer. It's a big bowl. See, sometimes when I door dash it, my bowl's like one third of this size. Like this whole bowl is definitely gonna be two dinners for me. And whenever I eat Chipotle, it keeps me so full. It's probably like the protein and stuff in here too. Sometimes I get beans as well. I like the pinto beans. I'm just bad at eating protein like if I was like really into the gym and fitness I know like you're you like try and eat a ton of protein I could never I like I need to eat more protein because I eat none <laughs> besides like cheese isn't cheese protein I eat a lot of carbs I just don't really like meat that much unless it's like like a burger or yeah, like something like that, like fast food. <laughs> but this is good. With the meat in here. I am full. Woo! One more chip. It is spicy. Well guys, that is it for today's video. I am full and that was so good. My nose is running now because that was a bit spicy, but very tasty. I want to try this new restaurant. Well, I've never had it, but it's not new. It's called A&W. Let me know if you guys want to see me do a food review there and like get like everything on the menu. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.